This video gives a proof that differentiable functions are continuous. What we want to show here is that if a function is differentiable at a number x equals a, then it's continuous at x equals a. Let me call the function f of x. And I'm going to start out by writing down what it means for f of x to be differentiable at x equals a. That means that the limit as x goes to a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a exists and equals this finite number that we call f prime of a. Now I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by the limit as x goes to a of x minus a. Now wait a second. Before I go any further, I want to make sure this is legit. Does this limit actually exist? Well, yeah, because the limit as x goes to a of x exists, that's just a, and the limit as x goes to a of a exists, that's a also, so the limit of the difference has to exist, and actually, that limit of the difference is the difference of the limits, which is just going to be a minus a, or zero. So I've actually just multiplied both sides by zero in a fancy form. This is actually a surprisingly useful thing to do because I have a product of, a lim of two limits here, both of which exist. So by the product rule for limits, I can rewrite this as the limit as x goes to a of x minus a times f of x minus f of a over x minus a. And canceling these two copies of x minus a, which is fine to do when x is near a, just not when x equals a, I get that the limit of f of x minus f of a is equal to this limit over here. Well, we said this limit was just zero. So my limit on the left is equal to zero. And now I'm so close. I'd like to apply the limit rule to this difference to break it up into a difference of limits, but I can't quite do that because I'm not sure yet that the limit as x goes to a of f of x exists. That's sort of part of what I'm trying to prove as far as, as continuity. So instead, I think I'm going to add to both sides a limit that I do know exists. And that's the limit of f of a. Now I do know that both of these two limits on the left side exist, so I can use the, the limit rule about sums to rewrite this limit. Now on the left side I can cancel out my copies of f of a, whatever number that is, and I get that the limit as x goes to a of f of x, which has to exist by the, the limit rule for sums that I applied above, that limit there has to equal the limit as x goes to a of f of a. Well, f of a is just some number. doesn't matter what x is doing. f of a is, is just f of a, whatever that is. So this limit on the right is just f of a. And look at that. That's exactly what it means for a function to be continuous at x equals a. The limit as x goes to a of f of x equals f of a. So f is continuous at x equals a. And the proof is complete. In this video, we proved that if f is differentiable at x equals a, then f is continuous at x equals a. This statement is equivalent to another statement known in logic as its contrapositive, which says that if f is not continuous at x equals a, then f is not differentiable at x equals a.